So, I have already tried remaking this video like 10 times, but video making is definitely not where my skills lie. <laughs> anyway, so I couldn't figure out how to explain things very good and get across what I'm trying to say. So instead, I'm going to do it in the form of tips and I'm going to cover DPI and algorithms in this first group of tips. So tip number one. Tip number one is probably the most important, and that is to always make sure that the image that you are starting with, the resolution is at least like 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels. Uh, 2K image at least. If you don't have a image that's 2000 by 2000 that you want to use still, use a program, something like uh, ImageR Tools. It has a option to scale the image up um, and upscale the image to at least 2000 by 2000 pixels. Okay, so tip number two. Tip number two is to always start with a very low resolution, especially if you're not super confident in what your laser's capabilities are and the material that you're using. Uh, so right here, I set it to four inches by four inches, this image, and a DPI of 254. Moving on to tip number three, that is to always take a look at a couple different algorithms or dither algorithm dither same thing um, right here i have cassia uh, white tile selected all right and this is a 254 dpi still and then i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to hit nero white tile i'm going to go in here and i'm going to hit marson white tile what I'm doing is I'm just taking a quick look at all of them. White tile, banning white tile now, and also Norton white tile. Now, if you're using ImageR, you can simply click undo and redo. And we can look at all of them just by clicking through them really quick. And then you can pick the one that feels right. Like there, there is no right algorithm. There is no um, best algorithm. It depends on the image and what the person trying to achieve. Um, but by flipping through them and just clicking redo and undo and image are offline, that's what I use. You can see, let's take a look at the background. As I'm flipping through them, look at the detail, how the detail increases and decreases depending on the algorithm, but also look at the, you know, how light and dark certain areas get. And you simply want to try the one that feels right. Uh, until you know, after you've done it for a while, you'll know which one is feels right or looks best. Um, and you'll be more accurate with your thoughts. One other quick tip, uh, tip number four is to always make sure that you're um, using pass through in whatever application that you're gonna actually engrave um, the piece of art on. Make sure that you select pass through or whatever the equivalent is. Lightburn is pass through. Um, there should be something similar in most programs. That uh, basically what pass through does is it simply takes the image that you have already prepared and engraves it exactly how you have it right there. It doesn't adjust anything it doesn't dither it um, if you don't use a pass through it could dither it again which will cause the dots to become all jumbled and the image come out all screwy okay so that's going to be it for this video um, this is just 
the first part and what's going to be many little video tips and help videos that I make. So have a good day, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you.